Xanthus wine tastes the same as I smell. Morning. Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. Okay. With this experience now under your belt, the work is becoming second Great nature. Great work! Well, oh, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Ah, no. Crazy character, he said. Or crazy characters. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you jinx it! Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> okay, it's Hito. <laughs> Hito is back. Yes. Dude, what up, bro? I didn't know you were in Liyue too. Ah, it's always nice to run into a broadie and a zooming fellow. But uh, wait, did I say that right? Right. No. Seems that even after the boot camp, the um, Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle camp was over, they didn't go back to Inazuma. They stayed in Liyue. <laughs> You meant fellow Inazuman abroad, boss? Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we gotta look out for each other when we're this far from home, don't we, Ayato? Yato? Think. Huh? Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, of the sky cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> and my compadre, too! All my buddies in one place! God, today's my lucky day! <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? How come you're back in Lily so soon? Ah, <laughs> that could wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing Mora at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm in the mood for some good, spicy food. Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakato's okay and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Look on Shinobu's face seems to say, don't. <clears throat> oh, what about you, Ayato? Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. Naturally, I came here as soon as I could, but alas, it was too late. <laughs> so, you were... Going to partake in the trumpet in the on the capital competition. That's what you're saying, Ayato. Because you were too late, you didn't, and you weren't able to participate. What you missed it? Oh man, what a bummer! Quite the bummer, indeed. Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. Yeah, and also, all these characters, uh, Obu, um, Ito, Ayato, we've all seen them quite recently as well. Uh, like I said, uh, Ito and Shinobu were in the Blue Champ event, and Ayato, we saw him in the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah. Nice. 
Sure thing, my man. But uh, uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef anyway? Uh, hey, get the chef out here. I got compadres to feed. Oh, uh, as it turns out, Ito, I'm the chef. Yeah, sure, me too. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, Bull Chucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. I'm on Pamon's depression here, and her, her hand gesture is good. Yo. Hey. I'm gonna tell you. You want some grub? We can, we can share if you want. And the main chef is another guy. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. Alright, well, uh, get the chef out here. And Paimon go to the kitchen and fetch Smiley so, Genjo. Uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the Palace Jewels, a Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more uh, down to earth? Down to earth. Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. Real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows, hmm? A bro just knows. Yes, a bro just knows! <laughs> bros don't suppose, cause bros just knows! Ito. Is this for real? Oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. <laughs> All right. See. Uh, so, I was over there. The uh, out with them. Right. Seriously, if I'd blinked, I would have missed a crimson staff. Just launched itself at Bloom Pruner and sent it flying. Uh huh. Bloom Pruner. I'd expect no less of the bona fide Beetle Battle King himself. It sounds like a truly epoch defining duel. Okay. I was returning about the Blazing Army Beetle Battle Boot Camp. Stifling, so I made some excuses and slipped away. Anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. Sure. First, as always, as and ladies, yo, yo, Yan Zhao, got an order coming up. Hope you're ready. I'm to rinse the meat. Ah. Uh, we're getting older. Do, do we have the knife? The knife's ready? Uh, okay. We've got everything here. Hey. Oh, this looks kind of nice. Hey, um, pencils. Ish. Plates. Okay, we all set. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make. So I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, why is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, 
I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Uh, tofu? Wait, tofu's made of beans, isn't it? Old Bullchucker can't eat that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. Yeah. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Yes, you did. Wait, beans. What are, are you doing? In order. The, the kitchen is staff members only. <sighs> Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? No one gets my bro Ayato like I do. I hereby declare that humbly enough will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship, or my name ain't Arataki Ito. Maybe we can have a, um, you know, humbly enough dish, but without tofu. If we, um, if we remove the tofu, would that even be trolled humbly enough? Hey, where's our food at? Hurry up! I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. <laughs> Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Yeah. Ito is a man of his words. For better or worse. We're locked in now. We gotta cook that dish. Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. Okay. Um. Just going to talk to them. I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. Okay, I'll I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. I can help too. Don't worry, I'm qualified. I passed Liyue's senior culinary exam once. Wow. All right, well, uh, stop twitching. All right, let me uh, read my notes again. Is uh. Seems that this one is going to be a bit more complicated than a simple dish. And so uh, we have to build add tofu into this. Alright, um so humbly enough. So the required ingredients. There's uh, tofu, juice June chilies, uh flour. Sugar and salt. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What does it say? Description. A uh, fragrant and a uh, nostalgic Lewis style dish. One's. Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, one's a number one choice for a hearty touching in. This dish requires one to craft the colors and aromas of meat from tofu. Which demands much of the chef's much of the chef's seasoning skills. Word has it that this dish was designed for those with older folks with ancient teeth. Perhaps it is also a chef's duty to ensure that all people with good food. Yeah. Well, I'll think I'll, uh, think I'll try and. And serve them up. 
as best as, as best as I can. Right. Right, Ether. Right, Ether. Uh, uh, I now uh, we will have to you and me. We'll have to and uh, even and even you and me. We'll have to um prep prep, prep the uh, tofu and dream chili. Whew. Let's go. Start. One, two, three, four. Start. One, two. All right. Third, don't don't let me down. Time. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Diced and chopped. Alright. Prepare the diced dream chili, sugar, etc. Mix. Pulse. Go. Ah. There. I always miss the last one. Ow. Add the ingredients and cook, humbly enough. Alright guys, last step. Last step. I wonder if um, we will do more cooking rather than those specific things. I don't know. I'll, I'll let the um, vessel, the accessory, and the add-ons, and the add-on like that. I won't go change anything. Humbly enough, challenge completed. Here goes. Let's see what will uh, happen. Oh, so this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Yeah. Yeah, um. Joe? Um. I hope, um. Your palate and your. Uh, stomach is, uh. Ready or mouth? Anything? Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss, I did right now. Respect the look at this face. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Yeah, it's a uh, polite customs. Polite? Uh, Shinobu, I thought old timey traditions weren't your style. Yeah, well, uh, now that I've uh, finished in the kitchen, I'm a guest too, so maybe let me dig in first. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well, guess I only got my own good taste to blame. Go on, dive in. I'll wait till last. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Ato Ayato seems to know something. The Paimon Ayato and Shinobu help out themselves. <laughs> hmm? I see. Very little meat. So, yeah. We want to make sure that there's no more tofu in, on the plate. Finally, it's my turn. Hoo -hoo! I spy a big chunk of deliciousness with my name on it. <laughs> what? What's the, what are those faces? Wait, don't. Huh? What is it now? 
Got this Paimon. <sighs> okay, here goes. Anyway, so uh Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story of the fish. Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet. <laughs> It's a way to stop him from eating. Uh, well, um, skipping the origin story is like, like going traveling without a tour guide. Trust Paimon, you get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every tea must be appreciated on its own terms, is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? Padre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start with the ingredients. Actually, no. Let's start with the story of Wang Xuan, <laughs> which starts with the history oh. of Dihua Is it, is it going to... Wait. Now's our chance, traveler. Yeah, yeah, got it. Well, it was a strategy where you shouldn't should never be into double down the dish. <sighs> the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. Darn, there's no sad way to tell so from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. We're already beyond stuffed. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? What are all these faces? That's it. I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of... One moment, Ito. A moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang. So they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course. Including mine and Ayato's. Huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it! I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fam, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? Mm. That's a uh, disaster averted. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and yeah. forth. And those that come across Leo tend to stay a while. Count Crushmore. Instant kill. I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in Liyue. You didn't really come for the Oink Chabitul fighting contest, did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. No. In truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. Yeah. 
How come you didn't come to the Lantern Rite then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. Ah. Uh, okay, so. You want to avoid the crowds. Okay. In any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, as for the leftover tofu, yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. Mention of Toma? Alright, you guys. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. But why did you really come to Lue? Well, uh... Thing is, I can explain. Boss recently found work as a sailor, which allowed him to hitch a ride here. After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakado. <laughs> ah. Just because he's here already, no other reason. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Arutachi... Oh! Wait, so... It is exposed here. Yeah, shame it can be. So, I guess that... The... The Humbly Enough is going to be put here. Those. And then the last dish, which is going to be tomorrow, is it tomorrow? For four dishes. Alright, Yen Zhao. Done it. And we've done it. Looks like that's all sorted. Alright. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. <laughs> okay. The rest of the day passes without incident. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, that recipe. Humbly enough. <laughs> now do more. Alright. As for that, some locks in one day. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, so, yeah. This was, a, uh, and, and I know there's still one day remaining, but this was an interesting and really yeah, see? This is here now. So, yeah. This was, a. Uh, Amazing time. I uh, we got to talk to many characters along the way. Some that we we haven't even seen for a long time. And yeah. Me. This was a uh, Amazing experience to be sure. Lads and ladies around the world, um, this has been yet another uh, video slash stream for Genshin Impact. And as you've seen, we talked to many characters that participated in uh, this Lantern Rite Festival. Oh, the lovely couple of Vlad and Nadia. Actually, forming trouble this time around. We talked to Jihu and Hujong, uh, Charlotte, Chen, and Yan Yun, as well as uh, Yao Yao and Chi Chi. And yeah, we also participated in the 
Twitching event. And this Twitching event was was loads of fun. I couldn't stop smiling from beginning to end. And there's still one day left. Which means that uh, we will definitely tackle uh, this uh, specific event uh, next time, obviously. But yeah, um, it was uh, amazing. We happened to come across uh, characters that we haven't seen in a long time. Barozan, sorry, Madam Barozan. Uh, Layla, Dory, and, uh, well, Shinobu and, and Ito, Vayato, and, and Fremne, Lini, Lynette. Yeah. Flabbergasted from the beginning to the end. And I can't wait to see where the next part of our journey through continent of Tavat too. Uh, if you are as excited as I am for the continuation of this journey, then make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video from me in the future. And yeah, with that said guys, I suppose that it is a better time as any to tell you that you are amazing. Where do you want to go next? I'll see you all. If you'd like In to see video. the newest tourist spots, I have a few references.